guys, it's Lindsay here. And if you saw uh, my channel update video, it's still really hard for me to get used to saying mine instead of ours. Is that sad? That kind of makes me sad. I miss you, Abby. Um, so if I, if I get those words mixed up here in the next couple of videos, I apologize. It's just kind of habit. But okay, so if you saw my um, channel update video, you know that we took kind of a break in December um, for some health reasons. And because of that, I have some stash builder boxes that have stacked up. So I have a stash of stash builder boxes at this point. I have two of them, one for November and one for December, or they were shipped then. I get, always get confused as to how these subscription boxes work. Like the one that was shipped in December, is that for January? I don't know, either way. So I've got two of them here. I'm not even sure if I know which is which. So I don't see any, oh wait, 11, 15 and 12, 15. Okay, great. So we'll start with November. And I just want to do a, a double unboxing for you guys so you can see what came in each of the boxes as I've been doing. Um, if you remember back in the October one that I did, you know, we were talking about all the changes that they were making at Stash Builder, including sending a lot more fabric and then sending everyone, like not everyone gets the same fabrics. So it's kind of fun. You can still watch um, other people's uh, unboxing videos or follow the hashtag on Instagram and not be totally sure if you're spoiling it for yourself or not. It's not like there's a lot of spoilers out there because you just don't know which one you are going to get. So um, it looks like the one I got is Blythe by Katrina Rochella. Rose Rochella. Um, and it looks like this is part of the art gallery fabric line. Um, so let's get, oh, okay, cute. It's like, okay. So, and I think I get a yard of each of these now. And this one is just a really, really pretty, um, I don't know. It's not teal. It's like a, maybe a mossy green, like hatch pattern with these really cute deer on them. It's green deer and brown deer. That's kind of sweet. That would have been really perfect for a Christmas gift, like an apron or something. It feels very holiday to me. I associate reindeers with holidays, I guess. That's cute. Then the next one is in that same green color family. Ooh, this one has like glitter gold on it. Oh, I love that. It almost has like, yeah, it's shimmery. The little flowers are shimmery. And it looks like it's just flowers and twigs and things like that. That's very pretty as well. I don't usually go for green in stuff that I make, and I don't know why. I really like green. I feel like I before purple, green was my favorite color, but I don't know when that went away. Hmm. And then the last one is just like a, um, it's like a type, like a, like a typewriter font, and it talks about, gosh, um, dare to explore and to love. Necessity is the theme and adventures of nature, her curb and her internal law. Humanity is designed to explore. Yeah, it just looks like some sentences over and over again. I'm not sure if it's part of a book or what. Um, but yeah, it's just like typewriter print. So that's really cute too. I love that. That would be cute as, um, well, if you know anybody that writes or works for a newspaper or something, this would make a great gift for them. Um, I wouldn't make like a whole dress out of this or anything like that. That might be a little weird for me. Um, maybe more pockets and facings or a lining of a bag. That could be really cool. Like if you carry magazines or newspapers or paperwork in any, in any fashion, that would be cute for that. Great. And then let's see what else. The pencil this month says, may your bobbin always be full. That's so cute. I love those pencils. I used, I really do use them a lot. Um, we got some Aurifil thread as usual. It is color 1248. And the block of the month um, is a, a, yeah is this one called triangles and arrows that's cute this is the stash pick of the month i always get confused the block of the month 
Okay, I've got it now. This is a box exclusive pattern. The only way to get this pattern from Cynthia Muir is in this box. And it's really cute, triangles and arrows. That would be adorable for a baby boy um, or anyone that just has that kind of, you know, I mean, arrows are so trendy right now. So maybe someone has that kind of decor and um, if you pick the right fabrics, it could be really cute and keep the background solid and just highlight the arrows. That would be adorable. And then the block of the month is now online only. So I don't have something to show you what that looks like, I don't think. Um, so you have to go to blog.stashbuilder.com to see that. Um, so yeah, that was November's box. And if you want to see what other people got in November, you can follow the hashtag I heart, like spelled out I H E A R T S B B I heart stash builder box. Cute. Well, that one was fun. Yeah, I've got to find something to do with that green now that the holidays are completely over. Let's see what came in December. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, probably not something I would have picked for myself, which is kind of what I love about this. It really does challenge me to think outside the box with my projects and, and the fabrics that um that i use so this fabric collection is garden dreamer by maureen cracknell again art gallery fabrics garden dreamer okay this is the first one i love um i don't know if it's because it's geometric or if it's the colors like i love mint and peach and light pinks and all of that together but i also really love this geometric print i think that that is so pretty and then this next one is super bold. I mean, it has like forest green, bright orange flowers. Um, definitely not something I would have picked up for myself. Um, but I don't know. It's, it is still really, really pretty. I love the print a lot. Um, just I'm not much of a bold color person. Or maybe I'm just not an orange person. I don't know it we'll see that this one will be fun to try and play around with and see what what life it takes um this one though super pretty um it's again got kind of like field flowers the background is mint green which is probably why i love it but it's also got purple like purple's my favorite color so i love this like you know almost a fuchsia eggplant color um similar i guess to what i'm wearing today and it's got pinks and some of the greens again so these three together are really, really fun and interesting. You have two florals and a geometric and all kinds of colors mixed in there. So those three together are, um, are really fun. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head, like what in the world would these three things become if not a quilt or an apron or something along those lines? But um, let's see what the pattern is. Another box exclusive pattern. Wait, another pencil. This one says craftiness is happiness. I think I would agree. Um, oh, guys. Oh man, the pattern is really, really pretty. Um, it's called Lofty. I probably love it so much because again, it goes back to like the geometrics. Like this one has a lot of clean straight lines. It's very linear, you know, very defined, horizontal, vertical. It just looks clean and organized. And I think that's what I like about it. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. And I love the fabrics that they chose for this. So this is a Stash Builder Box exclusive pattern by Andy Knowlton. And I'm assuming Andy designs patterns for a bright corner. I'm not really into the quilting world, so I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but there's like a little logo here. Um, and I'm assuming that's what that is all about. Um, hi, I'm Andy, mom to two boys and a wife to one awesome animator, quilter and pattern designer, and a wannabe sailor. Cute, so a little bio of her. Did the other one have a bio of Cynthia? No, it didn't, but that's a really cute touch. I love that they did that together. Way to go, Andy. Cute. 
anyways this pattern seems super simple to put together and the examples in here are so cute i might actually have to make this one i have like a store-bought quilted like a quilted blanket it's not actually it's like one one piece of fabric that they quilted rather than it being pieced together um that i just bought i think at target or something like that so i would love to replace that maybe with something like this i don't know i say that every single time i open up one of these boxes i say that i say oh this is a quilt that i would love to make and then womp womp i never make it but i don't know this one's really inspiring very very inspiring Okay, what else came in here? Because of your purchase today, we're making quilts to donate to Give Kids the World Village, where happiness inspires hope. Give Kids the World Village is a 79-acre nonprofit resort in Central Florida that provides week-long cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. I love that. So if you don't know, Stash Builder Box is one of the most charitable companies that we work with that I know of. Um, they do amazing things when you subscribe to their box, a percentage of every box that is purchased is um, given to a charity. And then they also have all these ambassadors who make quilt tops or portions of quilts or, and they, the whole community comes together to make these quilts and the quilts are donated um, to different organizations. So it's a really cool effort that they do there. Um, I'll include a link down below, obviously, for um, where you can go purchase your stash builder box. I'll also include a link where you can learn more about their charity. Um, it's all on their website, but it may be easier to find if it's just one little click. Um, so go check those out. You can also save $3 off your first box by using the coupon code inside the hem. I'll have that information down below as well. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like a little bit sad that I didn't open November sooner because I definitely would have used that reindeer fabric for something for the holidays. Um, but that's okay. It will get used. Um, and then I'm really excited to try this um, Garden Dreamer fabric just because the one, the dark green one, is so out of my comfort zone. Um, and that lofty um, quilt pattern is really got the wheels turning. I'm excited about that one. So there you go. It's like a two for one today. You get two unboxings for the price of one. How about that? So I'm excited to see what comes in January. Um, it usually comes mid-month, so I'll have that video up for you later at the end of January, or maybe beginning of February, depending on the schedule. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!